Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the highest paying part-time jobs in the UK, which you as a student who are coming here in the UK can do it, right? Uh, so I've got four different jobs. The very first job is for a tutor. Now, I personally know a few of the students uh, who are actually doing this job as a tutor. The first, first thing is like what I mean by becoming a tutor, like how you can become one, right? So so in order to become one, so there are loads of platforms and loads of startups which have been created in the UK, right? One of the platform is called mytutor.co.uk. UK. all you can do is anyone can simply sign up on that platform can make their account and basically if there is some student let's say in a university who want who has got a doubt in chemistry they can come to this platform can, and they can book a call with you basically they can book a class with you so yes few of my friends are doing their job as a tutor and for per hour basis you can charge as much as you want right it can start from anywhere 20 pounds per hour to all the way till 100 pounds per hour so you can charge them any kind of amount of money but i think one of the feedback which i've got from them is in the initial when you start setting up your account on this platform it can be a bit slow for you to get your first student whom you can teach but once you've got that one student he'll be giving some review he might give a word of mouth to other students and then you can gradually increase your pace so what i'll be suggesting you is start with the lower price at the first and then gradually increase your price as the demand increases when the demand is low then yes you need to need to have a price which is kind of affordable for the students itself right another thing which you can do is in order to avoid that one month of gap maybe in India itself there might be kind of a platform which is quite international I think my future is specifically for UK but there might be some other platforms which are quite bit general which are which is for the international audience you can make your account in the India itself start doing some of that tutoring lessons so by the time you have come in the UK you've got that reputation uh, on that on that platform and you will be able to get the customers and the clients basically the students whom you can teach so that's the first job which I can recommend you as I said you there's no upper limit to what you can charge but from starts from 20 pound goes all the way up to how much you want to charge but 100 pound would be the upper limit which i might say and then the second job with on my list is of a delivery driver now here i will recommend you that when you're coming here to the uk uh, especially if you want to do some kind of part-time job you know uh, like with, with like with studying whilst you're studying uh, make sure that you've got your uh, driving license in india because if you have india or pakistan or us Canada, wherever you're watching this video from right because if you've got that driving license once you come in the uk you don't have to apply for any other license basically you can drive based upon that license it basically becomes your international driving license right so you can you have one year right to still drive in the uk and in terms of the side like like it's, it's the same it's a right-sided cars uh, here in the uk which is same as in india but if you're in a country which is on the left sided then the, your international then basically you're not eligible to get the license but for the indian audience or for the pakistan like for this asian most of the asian countries yeah you should be able to get this international driving license and basically uh, like the thing is you, you can't do jobs such as just eat or uber eat but what you can do is you can work with a restaurant right so here are plenty of restaurants who wants delivery drivers and they can basically keep you on payroll because you can't do self-employment in the uk so yeah so you can do this job as a delivery driver and in terms of the salary, it can start from any wheels like 15 pounds per hour, it could go up to 30 pounds per hour, right? So that again depends upon how you negotiate with the restaurant, right? There isn't any fixed, fixed, fixed amount of salary, it really depends upon restaurant to restaurant. Now, before I move to my third part time job, here I would like to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Amber Students. Now, if you're someone who is looking for an accommodation, maybe for the Jan intake, which is just coming, which is right on the edge, uh, you can definitely check out Amber Students because it's a marketplace of student accommodations. All you need to do is just single search around the place where you want to come in the UK and you will be showing you all the combinations which are available around that place so you can filter based upon your cost preference you can filter based upon kind of the students you need do you want girls and boys mixed you want only boys only girls so you can make all those filters you can make all those preferences and you'll be able to book a student accommodation for yourself so do check out Ember Students it's a really really great platform I've been working them for the last two years now so I've never heard any complaints from from Amber Student side and the team is very friendly available 24 by 7 so do check out Amber Students if you're looking to book a house in January intake or in the main intake whenever do check out Amber Students now back to the video and the third part time job on my list is of a sales representative now what does a sales representative mean right so here again I'll give you example of one of my friend who did this job so basically what he was doing was he was working in this one of the network company which used to provide like broadbands to the students uh, so he used to work in the 
company. So his role was to actually make a sale, sell those broadband packages, those water and electricity packages to the students. And, and, and the good thing about this job is that you'll be getting paid per hour. It might be 10 pounds or 12 pounds per hour. But on top of that, you'll be also getting commission if you make that sale. So if you make one sale, they might give you around 50 or 100 pounds on top of that, right? But maybe like this amount is a bit higher so at least 20 or 30 pounds they'll be able to give you so you'll be getting that commission which will be coming up so my friend's feedback was that he was actually getting more commission than his actual salary so in total he was earning really really big sum of money during uh, during his summer time because in summer you can work like full time you can work 40 hours and he was so I, so even i've got a full-time job but he was making more money than me as well uh, working as a scientist uh, in one of the company right so yeah so like sales represent job is really really well paid because of the commission uh, which comes in so this is my third job on the list and the fourth job on the list is of a warehouse operative now when i came to the uk i didn't knew what does a warehouse operative mean so basically if it is let's say so here they have got very big grocery stores and you see the grocery store you see everything decorated on the shelf but also there's a big team which is working behind the scene uh, for example if it's milk right so they get the delivery of the milk and then the warehouse operative job might be to put the milk in the refrigerator in the right location there will be loads of milk packages and then also to do some shelving work as well to put everything on the shelf and also there might be some internal systems you might need to deal with the internal computer systems that putting the packages the the the, the labels on, on on each and every single package so this is kind of so some of the job responsibilities of a warehouse operative again this job is really really well paid uh, I, I think at least around 10 to 15 pounds per hour you can expect to work uh, if you're working as a warehouse operative and the good thing is if you do the night shift you might be able to earn one or two pounds per hour uh, extra right so if it was 10 pounds per hour they'll be giving 12 pounds per hour if you do some night shift so these are the four jobs uh, on my list with this i hope this video was helpful make sure to check amber students the link is in the description box of this video i'll see you in my next video cheers bye bye